How's it going, pre-calc kids? Today we are looking at 4.3, a trigonometry extended of the circular function. Okay. Let's get into it. No worry. Okay, well, when you're looking at an angle, it has two sides. Your terminal side and your initial sides. And it always goes counterclockwise. Okay, because so angles go counterclockwise. That's the opposite way of which a clock goes. A wise clock, no less. So, your initial is where you start, your terminal is where you end. If you guys took physics, you already have heard this before. Okay, shouldn't be anything new. Okay, terminal is where you end. Like the terminator ends life, terminal ends angles. Okay. The difference between a positive and a negative angle. A positive angle goes counter clockwise. That's what CCW means. If you didn't know that, write that down. CCW means counterclockwise. Okay. A negative angle is when you go clockwise. Okay, the CW. Okay, so really clocks are always traveling in negative areas. Okay. Coterminal angles. Coterminal angles are two angles that are the same but they have different measures. Um, there's a skateboarder over here, right? In fact, that's a famous one. That guy's name's Tony Hawk. He was the first person ever to run a, or land a 900. Okay? So he spun 900 degrees. Now remember, if you go around once, that's 360, right? That means he spun around once, and then he spun around again. Okay? When he spun around twice, that's 720. Then he went around a half more. So that was 900 degrees, right? Now, not many times in physics or math you're going to say, oh, well, I moved 900 degrees to the left. No, you say, I went, it's usually going between, between 0 and 360. So what Tony Hawk actually did, well, he spun a half, two, or he spun around two and a half times, but he only really moved a total of 180 degrees, right? So that's what coterminal means. Coterminal, a noteworthy term. Coterminal, don't write down all this stuff. Just put down that 900 equals 180, okay? So that way you know that it just means that there are two angles. They have different numbers, but they mean the same thing, okay? Because no matter how many times you spin, you're always going to be a number between 0 and 360 away from where you started, okay? If you jumped and you span, spun around 10 times and you landed where you started, that's 0 degrees or 360 degrees, okay? Coterminal. Now finding coterminal angles. Okay, so find a positive angle and a negative angle that are coterminal with 45 degrees. Okay, so again, guys, all examples are noteworthy. Your positive angle. To find a positive angle as coterminal to another one, if you're at 45 degrees, what would happen if you spun around one more time all the way around? Well, you'd be at 405 degrees, which is the same as 445. Okay, if you guys need eight. So that's your 45, right? 405 looks like that. You spin all the way around 360, then you go 45 degrees more. Okay. So for your negative angle, what do you think you do? Well, you go 45 minus 360. Okay. So that's negative 315 degrees. What that means is you start here and you go clockwise until you hit the 45. 
Okay? So you just made it negative because you spun the other way around. Okay? A fun fact for you. Uh, I could have made another positive one too by just adding 360 again. And that would be 360 plus 765, right? 765, same as 405, same as 45. Okay, you just keep spinning around. Since so here I could have subtracted 360 again. That would give you negative 675, which is the same as negative 315, 45, 760, they're all the same. You're spinning around a circle. Now this one's a little bit different. Find a positive and negative coterminal of pi over 6. So your positive angle. Again, guys, all these are normal. You take your pi over 6. Now we don't add 360 because this is in radians because there's no degree marker by it. So do you, do you remember what a circle is in radians? Well, it's 2 pi. So now we're going to add 2 pi. Okay, so 2 pi plus pi over 6 is 12 is 13 pi over 6. Okay, and my negative angle, you guessed right, we're going to subtract 2 pi. When you do that, you get negative 11 pi over 6. Okay, so pretty much what you're doing is you're adding a full circle to each of these. What is another name for? Uh, let's make up one. 700 degrees. And another name between 0 and, zero and 360 or 0 and 2 pi. So we're trying to get back to the original. So we have 700 degrees, and then we'll make up another one. Oh, I have a keyboard on here also. Look at this. Uh, ro get out of here, you weirdo. Okay. We'll make another one. We'll go like 7 pi. So here's what you do, guys. Keep subtracting 360 till you get back into that realm. So 700 minus 360 is what? 4, 6, 340, right? So that's the other name for the angle. Now this one, you subtract 2 pi. Well, that's 5 pi. Are we in between 0 and 2 pi? Not yet. So we subtract 2 pi. Are we there yet? No. Subtract 2 pi. Are we there yet? Yes. So pi. 7 pi is the same angle as pi in radians. Okay? Anything too scary? Okay. Good stuff. What? Oh, by the way, guys. Standard position. Standard position means first quadrant. And remember your quadrants are one. That's your one. Both x and y are positive. So let the point three, five be the terminal side of a triangle. Find the six trigonometric functions of theta. So this was my terminal side, right? So this must be my triangle. That's three, we'll say. Okay. <clears throat> so length of this side's three, right? Length of this side would be five, because we went over three for x, up five for a y. And where's theta? Well, theta's this right here. Okay. So. How do I find this up here? Well, we use Pythagorean theorem. That's square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared, which is square root of 9 plus 25. Okay. 
which is square root of 34. And that's what we're going to leave it. Why? Because I said so. Okay, so that means sine of theta. That's your opposite over hypotenuse. So that means cosecant is the opposite of that, right? Not the opposite, but the reciprocal. Cosine of theta. That's your adjacent over hypotenuse. So that means secant is the reciprocal of that. Tangent of theta. That's your opposite over adjacent. So cotangent is your reciprocal. Okay, and guys, that's all there is to this. Graph your point, draw a triangle. You're always going to have two of the sides. It's your x and y coordinate. Do some fancy math. And man, this seems a little bit too easy. But I'll make your homework a little bit trickier. Okay. So, enjoy.